Okay, it's all done, as you can see. And it will bring you back to this screen. I don't know if clear you can read this. It says, if your phone is stuck at Motorola's screen, just pull out the, the battery, wait 30 seconds, put battery back in, and, you know, and reboot. Okay, I think that's for a different version for Motorola. Okay, now, it's kind of the same thing as as the form reversion I was telling you about as my form reversion. If you're doing if you're doing it for the first time, what you will um, what you will have to do is pull it out, and you don't you pull it out. Now some phones I've heard they say you pull it out and you have to hold volume down and come with the options. On my firmware, I didn't it didn't do it. When I hold volume down, it, it, it doesn't do nothing. The screen is turned black. It turns it turns back off and nothing happens. You, what what you have to do is pull the battery out, put put it back in, to hold the power button down until you see the green light comes on on the phone, and you just let it boot and it'll come over the screen and you have five seconds to start moving the volume down button. As soon as you see it, start pressing down until you reach fast boot mode. You, you would plug your phone back into you pray, put it fast boot mode, press volume up to select it. And it'll enter fast boot mode, and then you plug it in, and it, and it will automatically do do, do the rest of, of what it's supposed to do, thus unlocking your boot loader. Okay, now I'm gonna exit this because I'm gonna show you how to relock your boot loader. Now you need RSD light, RSD light you see right here, and I exit it also a copy of the firmware for your for your um, phone the firmware version of your phone because I, the um, for, for the firmware version 4.5.91 cannot be done graded and maybe that's what some people has, has heartbreaked by trying trying to do a downgrade like I did it, it, it cannot it does heartbreak your phone but it can be fixed using at a Matic Unlock version 4.2. Now I'm go, going to go ahead and extract this because you need the file that's inside of it. So I'm going to go ahead and extract this. And it's almost about to be finished. Now I'm going to extract this. And from here I'll show you the process you need to do to unlock your, to relock your boot loader on your Motorola Atrix 4G ATT. Okay, in a few seconds you should be finished here, it's almost finished, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to get your form, your, your bootloader relaxed. So whatever, whatever form firmware you're on, find a copy of your firmware, and you should be able to relax your bootloader in case something happens, you have to return the phone to AT&T, you don't want to avoid your warranty. Because most likely you will. Because when I've told them about it, they told me, yeah, maybe I try to do a hack. And if I try to, that 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 will void my warranty. That's what they told me on the phone. Now it's unlocked, and you can see it's right here. It came right here, and it's a SB, SBF file. Go how close you can see that it's a SBF file. Okay. Now, sorry about that. Now I'm just gonna go and run RSD Lite. Okay. Now the first thing you would have to do is to unplug your phone, as I'm gonna do here. You can see. Well, I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the power cord in, the the, the USB um, device in. I'm gonna hold on volume down and power it off. While it's powering off, I'm just gonna hold on volume up and power. The green light comes on and reboot it into RSV protocol, which brings up this right here. Now you can see mine. I, I, when I've looked at videos on YouTube, everybody, some people own says a different stuff. It, it says the model of the phone, so the mine just says N NS Flash Olympus. Okay, that, that's what my mine says. Okay. Now it says USB, it says IMEI and stuff is, is NA, it doesn't, can't see it, whatever. Now, you click on these three buttons and you'll bring up 
um, you just search for your image wherever you have it saved to. Now I have mine saved in my downloads folder on, on, on my second drive that I have in my desktop. So I will have to find it. And here it is. I find it and I press open. And then all the only thing I have to do now is press start. And as and just to, before I press start, as you can see, it's, I don't know if clear you can see this. It says unlocked in the top right here. And I'll, I'll be, after that it says starting RSD protocol. This text that says unlocked is always there when you boot your phone up. As you can see from the video, it was all, since I have locked it, it has been there. Now I'm going to show you how to perform the relock. Now you press well, and this will take take a while. So I will cut this video off at a point and show you that it's not that it it is relaxed. You just want to press start, and it's starting. And as it's saying right there, creating image file, and this will take take a while. It will take about eight minutes to do. I I believe. It will take a while because it's flashing everything. You flashing the form of the phone back to the way it came. Mine's did come with 2.3.4 Android and with the form rate 4.5.91, and it's putting it back to stock. Everything. It's put. It's gonna put the boot loader back the way it was. Every all everything is gonna be back to, to original. And you know, cause I am sending this phone back, seeing that um, because it isn't been messed up. I. I bought a key, I bought an unlock key from one of those online websites and they sent me three keys and every one of them was wrong and I tried it too many times with thus um, putting the phone in subsidy um, lock mode so I, I, even with the AT&T SIM card inside I can't, I can't, I can't make calls or nothing, it's locked off to that and when I call them up for it they give, um, they said that, um, they're not allowed to give out codes for this phone as yet, and you know, and when I did call, as this speak to tech tech support, they gave me the um, the unlock code, but I guess it's not even it doesn't even work. It, it's it's so locked that the the right codes doesn't even work. So I have to send the phone back. So, but but they told me if any if I try to unlock it, like like it says unlock right in the screen, I'm screwed. So that's why I, I have a. So that's why I have created this to show people how they can relock their boot loader for the Motorola Atrix 4G AT&T to, to show you that it can be done. I don't know if um, the overseas version probably can. All you have to do is find the, the, the firmware for the overseas version and you should be fine. And as you can see it's doing this thing and I will get back to you when this is finished to show you that it is it is on you can relax it relax it and hey everyone I'm back it's all done now and uh, that took a couple of, took a couple about eight minutes to finish uh, as you can see executed 100% and now I'm gonna just reboot the phone to show you that this did work We'll reboot the phone and reboot. The phone will st and it's turn off. I'm gonna turn it back on, and you will not see the unlocked text on the screen. It it's completely relocked. As you can see, it's relocked. No unlock sign on the top of the screen. Yeah, it's it's gone. Completely gone. As you can see. Nothing. Nada. Of the phone reboots. Now I will have links in the description where to get this, and I will I will try to find links for the for the for the other versions of of the um of the firmware. So 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 people who want to um flash their own in case they have to send send it back to completely relock their boot loaders can do so as well and and the, the great thing about doing this with the firmware even if you are on custom 
even if you are on a custom um, ROM, because I, when I first did it, I, I I had a custom ROM installed. I, I didn't have, I didn't, I, I had a backup, but I I, I didn't you use it because um this is when I first bricked my phone. I, I didn't use it. I came right here. And because I found this, uh, this, uh, someone on XDA who said when he went his own hard break, he just used RSD light and you got to copy the firmware and even put the link of it. And that's what he used to fix it. And he, then he, he didn't try to to um, unlock his his boot load after that. He figured that it, it couldn't be unlocked for because he had the same form, firmware as me. And, you know, the so... That's exactly what he did, you know. He had the 4.5.91 form firmware, so and you seen I just I just flashed the firmware, but my fingerprint swipe still unlocks my phone, even if you are in a custom a custom ROM. What this will do, what the firmware will install the firmware will do, it will relock your boot loader, unroot your phone. And it will put you back to the original ROM, to the to to, to the ROM that came with the phone, because you do actually you do have the firmware image, the full image, and it will also keep any apps that you had installed on 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 the um on your custom ROM. So so all the apps that you 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 had installed, all your accounts, your fingerprints, your passwords, everything will still remain. The only difference is the ROM has changed. That's the only difference. But everything you could have had a hundred apps installed. All of those apps will be will still remain there, just different OS. Just in, I mean, just instead of the custom ROM, you you will have the original ROM that came with the phone, and you will also have all your stuff remain the way it was. Okay, and that's all and. Look for the links, look in the links and for the description and in, in, in the description.